In this video, we're going to do a demonstration of the projects module in Sugar CRM. Now, I'm logged into Sugar right now, and as you can see, I'm on the projects module, and I have a few different sample projects I'm working with here. What we're going to do is we're going to walk through actually creating a project inside of the tool here. So what you do is just go up to the top menu, click on Create Project. And from here, you give the basic details of your project name. So you'll give, say, Sample Project. We'll just call it the uh, October Project. And what we do is we give it a start date and we give it an end date. And that'll be reflected in here. You can put in, any, anything in here can be custom fields too. If there's specific information that you want to track for the project, you can also add custom fields through the studio editor as well. Uh, but once you've captured all your information, you just click on save. And once you've clicked on save, it then takes you to the project details page. This is where you can specify additional details, such as who the resources are on the project. So I can pick people from the, uh, the company that, that, that we're working in with inside of Sugar, say Will Weston's part of the team, we can add him into the resource list. Uh, from here, you can also pick contacts from the system too. So if there's customers that you work with and you want to specify them inside of the system, you can do that as well. Now, as we kind of work down here, we'll come back to project tasks in a second here, but you can see we have project holidays, activities, history, additional contacts that are related to the account. Uh, any of the opportunities, maybe we want to relate the actual deal that we, we procured originally through the CRM during the sales process. We want to relate it to the project. You can do that. Same with quotes, cases, that would be any of your trouble tickets. All of this can be related back inside of the project module inside of Sugar. Now, to actually build out the project, there's two ways. You can either go ahead and use an existing template. So you could actually create a template and reload it right from here. Um, or we can go ahead and just do a um, one from scratch is what I'm going to do right now. So to start adding tasks in here, we just click on view Gantt and that brings us into our Gantt chart. This is where we can then start building out our view. So if you've used Microsoft Project in the past, this is a good example of, uh, of project, but more of a basic level. So what I can do from here is I can just click into the task name and say kick off meeting, for instance that it's going to be uh, one day, the start date's the 5th and the 5th. I can specify predecessors for this if I'd like. I can even specify who the resource is the key figure behind this particular task as well. So I can specify Will Weston. And you can see over here our Gantt is starting to fill out a bit. Uh, from there I can continue adding on things too. So um, set up other meetings. I can go ahead and click on little plus at the top here and add a couple more items here and start building this out as well. So follow up call, um, develop requirements, as, as much detail as you want to get into. Um, you can even also use the uh, indentation features where you can actually break, break in different um, uh, tasks inside of uh, the CRM here. So I can break it in so follow up call now has a, a tree underneath it that I can utilize to group different tasks inside of the project module as well. Now as you start building this out too, I can go ahead here and like move the date so you'll see the Gantt moves up here. If I want to move the start date that's a little further in, we can see the, the date's now being reflected over here too. So I'll just click on save here. Uh, and then now you can kind of see that this is all really set up and you can just kind of build this out as you need it to. A couple of other things I'll point out too. Quick project reports for clients. So you can click on export to PDF and this will actually give you a nice little PDF view of the project itself that you can share with clients. You can throw your own logo up in there as well. That's really easy to do. A resource report, you can use that to see how, how, many, how many hours your resources are allocated against, as well as if you just want the grid view, which is the, 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 without the Gantt, or you just want the Gantt, you can do that, or you can see the combination of, of the grid, uh, Gantt rather, uh, inside of this view. But now if we go back into the project details itself and look at the October project, we can have a, a good look now and see how this is starting to flow out a bit. I can see project tasks here being built up, kickoff meetings, set up other meetings. So these are actual individual tasks inside of the CRM. And if we go back up to the menu here, you can see that there's view project tasks right here. That allows you to go into individual project items. And now each person can be assigned this particular record and they can work off this record from inside of the CRM. So this is another way for them to manage their tasks and whatnot. And the other beauty of this too is that you can actually tie in the workflow automation pieces of Sugar CRM. So if there's overdue tickets or someone gets assigned a uh, task or whatnot, you can have this automatically notify people as things are being added and updated inside of the system. Now if we go back to our project here, 
I'm going to point out a couple other things too. If we go up to the top here, like this is an individual project, but you can use the View My Projects dashboard to give you a view of what's going on with all the projects. So this is just the projects that is assigned right now to, um, to Max here. But uh, if we go back into other projects here, we can see there's a number of other projects assigned to Administrator. But what I'm going to do is we're just going to do a quick mass update and we're going to reassign these to uh, to Max just to show you what the view is for the project manager. So I'm like theoretically I'd be logged in as a project manager at this point Whereas I can now then go look at my dashboard and see all the projects that I'm working on Which tasks are overdue which ones are upcoming that I can quickly click on and take a look at inside of our views So that's a quick little overview on the projects module inside of sugar CRM It's a great add-on inside of sugar and it ties in out of the box inside of the CRM itself of course, you can do a number of different customizations inside of the system too, uh, whether it's workflow or if you need to build in custom uh, features inside of the system too, whether it's the views or whatnot, you can do that as well. So it's a really handy addition inside of Sugar CRM.